Hi everyone, welcome to Mint Canvas, where we help freelancers, creatives, and solopreneurs enhance their productivity. Today, I'm walking you through my freelance dashboard in Notion and showing you exactly how it can help you stay organized, save time, and feel more in control of your business. Let's take a look inside. The template starts with the dashboard, a clean, intuitive interface where everything is connected. From here, you have access to all key areas, tasks, projects, clients, brand identity, finances and invoices, and marketing. Each section is customizable, but also pre-built, so you don't have to waste time setting it up from scratch. The notification center on the dashboard will summarize the key information regarding active tasks, projects, and invoices, alerting you if something is overdue. Then you have the today's overview with your tasks for the day and the list of any overdue tasks, so you can reschedule them easily. Below, there's the weekly calendar to see any upcoming meetings. Now, meetings and tasks are on the same database, but this calendar is set to show only items marked as meetings. If you prefer to see both tasks and meetings in the same calendar, simply edit the filter and include the task option. And finally, an overview of your active projects and the ones you've completed this month. This concludes the dashboard, so now we will see the main areas of the template. Let's start with the Business Hub section. As a solo business owner, you are the brand. So having a dedicated space for your logo, your color palette, fonts, tone of voice, and all visual guidelines help you stay consistent across all your materials, whether it's your email signature, LinkedIn bio, client proposals, and social media. The Brand Hub lets you collect and access this data along with your ideal client persona, the Goal Planner and Brand resources. Use the Goal Planner to set and track goals and milestones you want to achieve in your business. Try to set specific and measurable goals so it'll be easier to accomplish them. For example, let's add a goal of 10,000 subscribers on your YouTube channel. This is a measurable goal. You can assign a quarter and a specific due date. You can also mark the goal complete once you reach it. You can then select an area for the goal if you wish, while the progress property will be calculated automatically once you start completing action steps for this goal. And the action plan is connected to the database below the goal planner, which contains all steps or tasks you need to complete to get to your final goals. In this example, we could add some steps directly from the goal page, or you can use the table below. Start marking steps as done to see the progress update. Inside the Business Hub, you can also list all your services. The examples you see here refer to a graphic designer who specializes in brand identity. But of course, you can input your own services. The last section lets you track every course you take to improve and expand your skill set. Next, let's take a look at the Client Hub. This is your CRM, where you collect all client data, details, communications, and meetings. And inside the client template, you will find all related tasks, projects, and documents in one place. This page helps you build better relationships and makes onboarding new clients much faster. It will also help manage follow-ups and your entire client pipeline. So let's say you received a message through your website from a potential client. You can add them in your CRM using the Leads tab or the button on the menu. Write their name and fill any property with their information. Using the template, you can add a follow-up call or message directly on your calendar. Ideally, you want to book a free call with a potential client so they can get to see you and talk to you in real time. 
while you can assess the scope of the project they are interested in and collect any branding information you might need to create a tailored business proposal. You can use the template on the meeting database to mark down each aspect you want to tackle on your first call and note down every relevant piece of information. This setup is designed to let you collect and access these crucial elements with ease to increase your client's acquisition rates as well. Next, let's explore the Project Manager section. The Project Hub is a Kanban board of your projects grouped by status and client, and an archive section. You then have a timeline to track any overlapping projects and their schedules. I also created a project template so you can collect all relevant data specific to a project in one handy page. The Task Planner is where you can track every single task across all projects. You have a daily view with tasks sorted following the Eisenhower matrix, so you can schedule your daily plan based on importance and urgency. You can also view a weekly and monthly task calendar, all completed tasks, and the list of all tasks grouped by project. So going back to, to our example, let's say the new lead has booked you for a brand identity project. You can add this new work directly on the Kanban board or using the button. Give the project a name and connect it to the client so the two databases can communicate. Add a time frame and a status. You can also select which package or services the client selected, the project budget and the payment status. You can also jot down quick notes that will appear on the project's card. Fill up the two section regarding scope and deliverables so you can refer back to them if needed. Then utilize the other sections to add tasks, documents and invoices. Inside this page, you can also collect all documents and utilize the ready-made templates for the major document types like contracts and proposals. and you can access the Invoice Manager. Now, every time you issue an invoice, you will set the corresponding date and the due date for that invoice. If the due date is passed and you haven't changed the status of the invoice or updated the paid date, the system will read the invoice as overdue and the overdue column will display a checked box. You will also see an alert in the Notification Center. I have also included an invoice template, which is a real time saver. You can customize this template, input your data and even your branding. This will make creating invoices and sending them to the clients so easy. Now let's check the Finance Hub, where you can track all income, business expenses and even subscriptions. You can manage your accounts and get overviews for each with their respective balance. The logbook page allows you to track the time you spend on each task or project. This information is really important when assessing profit margins and determining your prices. Use the buttons to start and end a session. Select the corresponding task, project and client. Set your hourly rate and the database will do the rest of the calculations, which will make invoicing by the hour even simpler. Finally, I've included a marketing section to manage social media and ad campaigns. You can decide on your content pillars, create an idea bank, where you can list all your content ideas and include any piece of content from your competitors, for example, that aligns with your messaging. Finding posts that have performed well and adapting them to your brand is one of many trusted strategies to grow your business. 
But most importantly, the Idea Bank will help you create your own content calendar efficiently. The sections we've seen so far are all linked together, so that all key elements of your business are connected in a way that makes sense. Clients, projects, tasks, invoices and documents are all synced to let you flow from one item to the next without losing focus and precious time. That means less duplication, fewer mistakes, and more time doing the actual work you love. So, if you want to stop wasting time managing your freelance business and start working smarter, this dashboard might be exactly what you're looking for. Want to try it yourself? The link is in the description below. Let me know in the comment what is your most used tool in your day-to-day -day work. Thank you so much for watching and happy planning!